All right, here we are. We're going on a little bit of a bike trip. I, I have no idea how how far we're going or how long it's going to take. We're going to go till we feel like, oh, let's turn around now. Anyway, we're starting out here. See if I can get that on the camera. At the Cache Valley Road Trail Access. Now, we went a little bit beyond this point on our last trip. There's a, uh, a railroad tunnel up here. We went through that and came back, but today we're going to go a bit further. So, uh, I'm going to put this thing on Mr. Franken bike here. We're going to head on out. All right, then off we go. Looks like there's a fellow down here selling refreshments. And a couple of dogs. They can get so distracting out here. Yeah, it looks like refreshments and chips and fruits. How's it going? Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. Here we go. And oh look, it's Lisa. <laughs> With her new gloves. We're going to see how she likes those new gloves today. Okay, down the trail we go. I'll turn this thing back on if we see something interesting. This is called the Horseshoe Curve area. I guess you can tell because it makes a big horseshoe curve through here. I bet it gets loud when there's a train coming through. Speaking of trains, here comes a choo-choo. I don't know if the camera picked up the woo-woo, but I'm glad he waited until he passed us. Wow. I want to make sure I'm recording. Okay, now. Now we're headed toward the tunnel. And this is about how far we went last time. I'm going to stop and get a shot of this uh, sign here. Sign post reading thingy. Let me just, oh, stop right here. Now y'all can just pause that if you want to read it, but it's called the brush tunnel. Built in 1911, constructed of reinforced concrete, and designed for two tracks. But now they just got one track and a bike trail. And if I remember correctly, it's actually lit on the inside, so let's go on through. Last time we were here, we went through this tunnel and back. But that was all the way from uh, Canal Place in Cumberland. Oh yeah, they got lights in here. It's not a bad ride through this tunnel. Not like through the pawpaw tunnel anyway. Now I just keep it rolling until we get out the other end. What? Oh, that was them, that wasn't you. There were people loud mouthing at the other end that I could hear all the way down here. Yeah. I thought it was my wife calling me, so I stopped to see if she wanted something. 
because I know it's good for me. Don't know if y'all picked that up, but she said that. What the heck we got up here? Looks like a bunch of youngsters. Yeah, one of them, one of the youngsters just blocked the trail. I do not trust these people. Hi there. interesting and we're out the other end of the tunnel why they can't park over in this clearing this great huge clearing that's off to the right why they got to block the entrance to the tunnel I have no idea but we made it through and off we go okay just getting some gratuitous trail footage it's very nice through here it's been over half an hour and we're still going up the hill. It's gonna be a fun ride back. And if you're wondering, yeah, the trail crisscrosses over the uh, over the train tracks a few times. It's just beautiful out here. I like there to be a little more sun sunshine, but hey. At least it's not doing the R word. Now, I don't know what this is up here on the right. But it looks like it could be an interesting thing. Let's go check it out. Now, it looks like there's picnic tables over there. Huh? Looks like a little rest area. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that special? That mile marker, number nine, number nine. Here's the hard part. No, I'm not going to try and ride over that. But I am going to pick up the bike and carry it across. Looks like a little rest area. Train station type of thing. All right, there's Frank and Bike in all his glory from his front disc brake to his hydraulic rear rim brake. He got a bunch of picnic tables. They call this Mountain View. Let's take a walk around the back of it. More picnic tables over here. And another sign that says, Mountain View! Oh look, some of my stuff, they're trash in the picnic table. Aren't people wonderful? Hi Lisa! Hi Lisa, you're wonderful! <laughs> yeah, I couldn't leave Frank and Bike over on the wrong side of the track. So, uh, there's a bench up there. Looks like there used to be something over here. I'm going to get back on Frankie Bike and we're going to check it out. Let's check this out over here. Looks like once upon a time they had the same kind of thing over here. Looks like it's kind of in ruins now. No 
Oh well. Better get back up up on the trail and continue on our way. And off we go. Okay, here's the little rest stop that's on this side of the trail. Authorized vehicles only. I hope I'm authorized. Got a little picnic bench, unlike a little gazebo there. A couple of benches over here. And a handy dandy if you need it. <laughs> you need to use a handy dandy, Lisa? Handy dandy. You need it? Okay. Okay. No, I don't. But well, we're still going uphill. Oh, no. Well, while she gets on her bike, we're going to keep going down the trail. Oh, it is a friendly one. I just kind of looked over. Now oh, there's a sign over here. Let's check that out. Hello. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Let me get this on video real quick. Mount Savage. And again, if y'all want to read this, you can just pause it right here and read it at your leisure. Hmm. I can't get those on video. They're too far away. But there's a line of those uh, energy producing windmills up on that ridge way out there. I don't know if y'all can see them. I doubt it. All right, well, time to continue on. What is this thing up here on the left? Looks like we got two tracks over there again. Actually, I wasn't paying attention to see when the track started or ended. Looks like some kind of a track maintenance vehicle or something. Judging from the condition of the track over there, it's been there for a while. Huh. Or maybe that's just like a, a, a maintenance track? I don't know. Well, it looks like it's got road wheels on it. Oh well. We're going to continue on. I think I see the next mile marker up there. And I promise Lisa... Now we're going to turn around at mile marker 14. No discussions. No questions. No bull duty. Because, you know, if y'all know me, I'd be willing to <laughs> keep going until it gets dark. Come out here next time, put a headlight on Frank and Bike. And here we are. And here's where we're going to turn around. Mile marker 14. Is your knee puffy? Very puffy. Well, I'm going to pull over in that little area there. And then continue on. I got to, uh, I got to go take care of something. Okay. Okay. Getting ready to turn around. It's been uphill all the way out here, so of course it's going to be downhill all the way back. 
Um, I really didn't get a good start point, so I'm going to reset my my uh, my Garmin, and we'll see how how far back it is to the truck. Then I'll just double it. We'll get our total for the day. Of course, it's a lot faster this way. My wife's already tipped. <laughs> well, it's already gone. I'm going to see if I can catch up to her. I should be able to. Okay, let's get some speed up here. And away we go. Alright, we're rolling now. Gotcha! Just about back to where we started. There's our truck, but I'm gonna have to make a stop over here before we start loading up the car, load up the uh, load up the bike. Yeah, I don't feel like walking all this way. Judging from the old Garmin on my on my wrist here, we went about 18 and a half miles total. Um, I really can't tell you how long it took. Probably I don't know, a couple of hours, whatever. Doesn't really matter. But um, we're getting ready to load the bikes up and head on home. We got some pork in bad need of barbecuing. We'll see y'all next time.